Henry Ward Beecher once said, the first hour is the rudder of the day. And over the course of my life, I have found that to be entirely true. I will say, however, that I believe the morning routine we set up for ourselves is even more important than just the first hour. Whenever I feel like I am at my most productive self, it is because I have chosen to take hold of the first hours of the day rather than letting them take control of me, or even worse, slip away unutilized. How we spend our morning matters, and not just for the rest of the day, but for the life we desire to live. I believe this to be true of everyone, regardless of their season in life, current role, or their future ambitions. Whether you desire to be an intentional parent, an ambitious CEO, a diligent student, a creative artist, productive in your retired years, recognizing the opportunity of our mornings can significantly help us get there. The decisions we make in the morning set the sails for the direction of our day. Now, for me personally, for the last three years, my morning routine hasn't changed much. I start around six o'clock. First thing I do every weekday is I go to the gym, prioritizing my health, self-care, and just kick-starting my body for the day. Then I eat a healthy breakfast, followed by a personal time of devotion, meditation, quiet solitude, for me, I have found that those three actions set my body, my mind, and my heart in the right place for the day ahead. My workday typically starts around 9 a.m., and my first project is almost always the most important task that I need to accomplish that day. Today, for example, I'm recording this video at 10.15 a.m. Because you are most important to me. Now, none of the times that I just rattled off are particularly important. I like to get up around six, and I've worked hard to become someone who can get up early because it was always something that I wanted to be true of me. But don't make the mistake and don't miss the point of this video. I'm not saying that everyone needs to wake up early. Every person's body clock is set a little bit differently. What I'm saying is that if you want to be the best version of yourself, bringing about the greatest good for the greatest number of people, it starts by being intentional with the first several hours of your day. Intentionality at the very beginning of every day sets the tone for your day in life. Because when you command your morning, you conquer your day. Your morning routine will look different than mine. Craft one that serves you and your goals. Regardless, however, of how you structure yours, here are a few suggestions to help you make the most of it. Number one, try to wake up at the same time every day, at least every weekday. Consistency is key in establishing a routine. It's just really difficult to establish a morning routine if you're waking up at a different time every day. Plus, choosing to wake up at the same time every day is the first action of control that you can take over your day. Waking up at the same time will also help your body establish a stable rhythm and even enhance your overall sleep quality. Number two, prioritize physical health. Now, you'll find a routine that works for you, but I strongly suggest making sure you prioritize physical health at some point during your morning. Whether it's physical exercise or just making sure you eat a healthy, energy-giving breakfast, taking care of your body in the morning is essential. Your physical body is the instrument through which you make a difference in the world, so care for it well right away every day. Number three, plan your day the night before. Knowing what's on your agenda when you wake up can eliminate early morning decision fatigue, allowing you to get to work more efficiently. It'll also help you get out of bed in the morning knowing that you are intending to accomplish something that day. 
In fact, rare is the day that I wake up without knowing exactly what I intend to accomplish that day and when I intend to do it. Number four, do find time for reflection or meditation. A moment of calm before the storm of the day can do wonders for your mental well being. And it can help you approach the day with a more positive and focused mindset. For me, this is a spiritual exercise that consists of religious reading, meditation, and prayer. But of course, finding time for reflection and meditation is important for everyone, regardless of their faith or non faith background. Number five, dress for the day. Even if you're working from home, getting dressed can signal your brain that it's time to get serious. It's a psychological trick that can help increase productivity. There's also research done on the topic that shows getting ready can boost happiness and mood. Number six, tackle the most important task first. Eat the frog is a saying that many people use concerning time management, and it is often referred to as accomplish your toughest task first thing in the morning. But that is not actually the meaning of the phrase. Brian Tracy, who wrote the book, explains it as accomplishing your most important task at the beginning of the day. In the morning, I seek to accomplish the most important thing that I need to do that day. Sometimes it's the most challenging thing I have to do, but not always. But working on it first helps me prioritize and even schedule my most important work. A successful day doesn't necessarily mean crossing off the most number of things from your to-do list. A successful day is crossing the right things off of your to-do list. The significance of how you spend your morning cannot be overstated. It's about more than just routine. It's about purposefully shaping your day and ultimately your life. Regardless of the role you play in the world, how you use your morning affects your effectiveness. Your morning matters, so take charge of it. The ship of your life needs a captain doing the steering.